After starting off the season red hot, the LSU Tigers have cooled off during SEC play. That's right, Wesley. But LSU, two and three in their last five in conference play. How about a nice non conference date with the TCU Horned Frogs? That'll get them back on track, Maybe. right? Yeah. Let's find out. Since Xavier Pinson has been out, LSU, they've really struggled. We've, we've established that. So in the first half, they've got some trouble getting going. Tari Eason, no one around him. Big dunk. He's good at that. 16 for Tari today. Soon after, Brandon Murray for three. He's had 18 in the last three games. Tigers, they lead by two. Frogs lead by nine at the break, though, and that continued in the second half. Chuck O'Bannon. O'Bannon again. 50-34 TCU. Soon after, soon after TCU, they don't let up. Damian Ball gets the ball for two. Check this out. LSU giving it right back to him for the triple. Bang. Five-point game, but LSU couldn't get it done in the end. 78-66, or 77-68, rather. TCU gets the victory. From LSU over to Louisiana Tech, the Bulldogs were at home twice this week, and, of course, we were there for all the action. That's right, Wes. The Bulldogs looking to avoid losing more than one home game since the 2017-18 season, wow. hosting North Texas on Saturday. That's right. So, let's find out if they can get it done. Champ is repped out for this one. Good look. North Texas starting lights out. Ruben Jones, corner three. Bang. Starts a 7-0 run to begin the game for the Mean Green. But Kenneth Lofton Jr.'s got an answer. He's going to miss this layup. But he's going to collect his own rebound. Puts it in for two. Tied game now later on. Mean Green regained the lead. Mardez McBride from the corner. He's got it. Bulldogs say we can shoot the long ball too. Caleb Stewart. Same corner, same result. It's a 17-point lead for the Bulldogs in the second half because of plays like this. Junior with the steal. Up to Williams. Colby. Slam it home. But North Texas battles all the way back. Final seconds. Tyler Perry. The tack becomes Tyler Perry's house of pain. 63-62, the mean green. Final seconds. Amari Archibald for the win. And it's off. Sam Rothman was there. And has more from Rustin. The battle for the top spot in Conference USA West was, well, a battle. You look at the stats from the game, pretty much the same. But according to head coach Eric Conkle, there was one thing the Mean Green did that allowed them to squeak out a one point victory over the Bulldogs. They made one more play than we did. I had a tough shot at the end. You know, they got an offensive rebound, they got two great shots. You know, we're in the box side, they hit the three. And we ended up losing the game. And it's a game of runs. They had a run early, then we had a run. Uh, started the second half out well. Game changes a little bit, you know, there's, uh, gets a little bit to a grind like we knew it would. In this game of runs, it was the Mean Green who had the last one as the Bulldogs were held scoreless in the final five minutes of play. They're a tough team to score against. They went to the full court pressure and shrunk the clock on the other end and doubled the post and they're just trying to keep you off balance. We've got a competitive group of guys. We've got a prideful group of guys. It, it, it hurts. I thought they laid it all out there. I mean, we talk about emptying their tank and they emptied their tank. This hurts. It's going to hurt for a long time, but we've got to, we're going to have to move on eventually. And that chance to move on will begin on Thursday against FAU as after a three game homestand, the Bulldogs will now hit the road for a three game stint away from the tack. Reporting in Ruston, I'm Sam Rothman. Tough loss. There's some grambling basketball action from earlier this Tigers week. Tigers are playing well. Rustin standout in Portland State transfer. Amari McRae starting on Monday. Visitors first possession of the game. Daquan Morris drains a three-pointer. UAPB with an early lead. GSU ball. Eric Parrish tossing to McRae. The Rustin alum has no issue getting this layup in. Tigers now in transition. Parrish speeding down. Dumps this to Cameron Kristen. Kristen using the backboard for two. Lions. With the rock now, They're Sean Lions. Williams looking for Trey Sampson. Sampson arches over a defender for the basket. Grambling and Kristen with the ball now. Look at this step back. Hits a three from the pocket. Shreveport native now, Tremichael Go Moton. Let's see him work. There's a, a, lot there's waving. a lot of waving. Throws up a fade here. And look at this. Grambling. This was their third 
Consecutive win in a row. They now have 76 to yeah. 65. Let's go to the graphic now. Oh, there now. we go. I, I almost yeah, buried, buried the lead, the lead. There, Wesley. And from yesterday, Grambling State taking down Jackson State for their fourth straight win. Cameron Kristen, 22 points, four rebounds in the win. The Tigers have conference leader Alcorn State tomorrow night in Ooh, Mormon. That's going to be fun. That will be fun. Yes. Over to the mid now. LSUS trying to make it five straight. Wins yesterday afternoon. Leandre Washington, beautiful pass to Akeem White. White, nice finish with the reverse lay in. Moments later, another assist from Washington. This time, finding Trey Johnson. Johnson, beautiful floater. Then more Washington, doing it himself Enough now. Not for the sharing. Now, yeah, hitting it from mid range. Then Washington's going to get open in the corner. He can do it all. He can. From three, LSUS beginning to pull away at this point after a Mustang timeout. It's going to be Quentin Jones from the opposite corner for three. The Pilots, they get their fifth consecutive victory. They put up 100. They went 108 to 98.